So what we have here is a little robot that one of our students made as a third year project. So when they came to Queen Mary, they'd done no programming before, and this is what they did uh, three years later. So what this robot's doing is reacting to the tone of his voice. It can't tell anything that he's saying. And what it's doing is just detecting the tone of his voice and then showing different expressions depending on the tone of his voice. So if we play it, he'll start to talk softly, and it's quite a happy robot. And when he's talking softly, it's happy. But as he talks um, more harshly to it and gets angry, it realizes he's angry and starts to get unhappy. But stop doing and the more that. That's right. happy, the more Use angry he is, the more unhappy it gets. Okay. But then if he talks softly again, then it starts to cheer up and it gets happy again. And it can be surprised, so watch its eyebrows in a moment. Sometimes I've just had enough of you, you silly robot. I know it's surprised, but then when he talks softly to it again, then it will cheer up. And it's gradually a happy robot again. And all it's doing is reacting to the tone of his voice. And depending on whether he sounds as though he's happy with it, it will be happy. Or if he's angry with it, then it will be unhappy or surprised or whatever. So the question is, how easy is that to program? And actually, as we'll see, it's very easy. But let's not bother with Lego, because that gets complicated. So at this point, I need six volunteers. So we've got tall people at the back, you get to be eyebrows. So take an eyebrow and you hold that up. And the next two people, you get to be an eye each, but you actually have two versions of the eye. So put the, the big one behind your back and keep the first one out, that's it. And have them the same way up. And then the last thing is we need them mouth so we've now built a robot and that's far quicker than building it in lego and you don't have to worry about losing the bits so we've got a robot face but it's not doing anything so to make it do anything we've got to give it a program so what i'm going to do is actually program each part separately do something that's called object-based programming so what i'll do is give a program for the eyebrow instructions for what the eyebrows do to behave like eyebrows separate instructions for the eyes say what eyebrow, what eyes do, and separate instructions for the mouth. So, an eyebrow. So what does an eyebrow do? Well, if you hear a nice sound, then you stay down low like you are at the moment. A nasty sound, then you stay down. But if you hear a sudden sound, then you go up high. Okay, so have a look at your instructions. And then when you're sure you know what you're doing, you can put them on the floor so you've got your hands free. So eyes are similar. If you hear a nice sound, so then you switch to the wide open eye, like that. If you hear a nasty sound, then you go to the narrowed eye. And if you hear a sudden sound, then you go to the wide open eye again. So those are your instructions. That's your program to follow. So again, make sure you know what you're doing and then put it on the ground. And the mouth, so the mouth is similar. So, um, if you hear a nice sound, then you hold your side up. If you hear a nasty sound, then you hold your side down. And if you hear a sudden sound, then you hold it open. Okay, so does everybody know what they're doing? Okay, you can put the instructions on the floor, if you're sure about that. And then what we need to do is make the sound. So that's what everybody else has to do. So all the audience, you have to make the sound. So we need three sounds. We need a nice sound, a nasty sound, and a sudden sound. So for the nice sound, let's sing happy birthday because it's the robot's birthday today. It's its zeroth birthday, it was just born today. Um, for the nasty sound, just make as gruesome a sound as you can think up. And for a sudden sound, I'll count one, two, three, and then you shout boo. Okay, so you make the sounds and then all the separate parts of the robot, all you do is follow your instructions dependent on the sound that you hear. Okay, so does everybody know what we're doing? What we need to do now is just make the sound. So um, let's do a happy sound first. So on the count of three, we'll sing happy birthday. So one, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday. To so hopefully that looks like a happy robot. Um, okay, so let's now do a sudden sound. So on a count of three, let's see if we can surprise it. So one, two, three, boo. boo. And hopefully it looks surprised. 
Uh, let's now do a gruesome sound. So one, two, three. And, and okay, that looks like an unhappy robot. So let's see if we can surprise it again on a count of three. One, two, three. Boom. Boom. And that looks surprised. So let's finish off by uh, cheering it up. So let's do a happy sound. So one, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. And we've got a happy robot. That's basically how you program a robot to make it behave just like um, the one in the um, in the video. So the one in the video is following a program. Here they're following a program. The only difference is this program was written in English so humans could follow it, whereas writing the same program for a robot, you'd have to write it in a programming language. And then the, pro the robot follows the program in the programming language that it's been given. And that's basically all there is to it. And what you could now do is take the instructions and start adding to it. So you could go away and um, maybe in groups of six think about different expressions, come up with an expression, maybe stare at each other and make faces at each other and work out what actually the features need to do to make the particular expression. So draw a picture of it, a cartoon version. Um, and then once you've got the expression, then write an instruction for each separate part, for, each, for the eyebrows and so on, uh, for the, each eye and for the size of the mouth, telling it what to do to make that expression and then think of a sound and then you add those instructions on to the end of the program and when that sound happens the robot would do what you wanted it to do. Um, so that's a, a first example of programming and if you do that you'll have written your first program to make a robot actually show emotions and that's basically what programming is about, just writing instructions that can be followed. Thank you.